Howdy folks, welcome to Hamas Foodie Friday. My name is Kenneth. I'm Jessica. She's been she's hiding over here. And uh, today we're going to make something that is uh, part of the uh, R3 uh, program uh, type recipe. And uh, it is an egg roll in a bowl. So, for those of you who like to have that Asian flavored dishes and that kind of thing, uh, but you know, the, the egg roll wrapper that's kind of hard, high in carbohydrates, and let's face it, deep frying it, that kind of stuff isn't necessarily the best thing in the world. But uh, this is a way that you can get that uh, flavor and you can get that kind of a deliciousness uh, with a bit, a bit, bit more healthy. So, mm -hmm. and this is actually part of the reset friendly, okay? So, this is a number one. I was kind of looking at some of these because some of them are for reintroduce and some are part of the reset. So, just adding the video to my profile real quick. Okay. So, um, basically, what we've got that's going in here, we got we got some uh, pork, we've got some uh, uh, cabbage or coleslaw. We got the coleslaw package. Um, there's some. Um, fresh ginger and uh, fresh garlic, soy sauce, sesame seed oil, and for those of you who want to take it up a notch, we got some sriracha, mm -hmm. um, and then we have uh, green onions, so. Okay, in a large skillet, brown your pork, beef, or chick, chicken, <laughs> until no longer peat, pink, or cook the shrimp. Oh, we could have done shrimp. Isadora was eyeballing the shrimp at the store today. She's like, oh, look at those big shrimps. And then she's like, those are alive. Checking out the clams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, she was checking out the clams. You, All can, right. you, yeah. can, you can start browning that up. Do you want me to brown the whole thing? How much? It says one pound. And how much do we have there? Probably more than that. 2.06. So half of it. Yeah. Okay. Because then we can use it for something else. Yep. Okay. Okay. So now I'm super, super excited, y'all. Kind of geeking out here a little bit. Something I have been waiting on for probably about nine months. Um, I'm a big believer in backing things on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. And I saw this beautiful set of knives that I just absolutely. Couldn't wait to get my hands on. I suppose I'll plug this in for you. It okay. was plugged in and then you unplugged it. Yeah, because we weren't live yet and I didn't want it to sit there getting hot. But yeah, I wanted to plug it in because she's she had her hands all in the stuff. But anyway. It's because I was taking These that. are my knives. They're bare knives. And I got the full set. So got chef knife. Got uh, got a really nice big bread knife, uh, paring knife, uh, utility knife. Uh, now I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name because I'm no good with Japanese names. But this is basically a vegetable knife here. This is all for cutting vegetables. So now we just got to figure out where we're going to put that block. Just well, because we have children in the home. Yes. Now. <laughs> There's a good chance that this won't get stored like this while they're this this young. But when it comes time to be cooking and stuff, I'm setting up my block like this so I can just grab at, my, at the knives that I need. So. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that just cuts. <laughs> I'm so geeked. Wow. Only other place that I would say is up here. I'm okay with it up there behind one of the things. Oh my goodness. This is this is literally folks the first time I've gotten to cut anything with this. And yeah, these are sharp. So okay. this is called these are knives that Jessica doesn't touch at all. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I Jessica guess. does not touch these knives. Nobody in this family should touch these knives but me. <laughs> these are my toys. I know. Hello Lisa. Hello Christopher. Hello Daryl. Karen. Marjorie, thank you guys so much for hopping on. Helen, Sandy, Richard, Joshua, Scott, John, Lauren, John, Kenton, Maria, 
Thank you guys so much for hopping on. Let us know where you are tuning in from today. Oh my God. Austin. I love, love these knives. Oh, I need to be stirring this. Here I am just listening to this pork cooking. And apparently I now have an audience down here. Dodger's coming over, putting his nose up in the air like, ooh, what's, what's going on? <laughs> yep, and got this big monster knife here. This one is for big pieces of beef, like a whole salmon. Uh, you know, got a regular chef's knife. And then this is the other Japanese uh, it's not the chef's knife, but it's their version of the chef knife. So one thing that I really like is the texture on these because it's kind of got a mountain type looking texture on it. I think that's what you were drawn to. And, and the big benefit to this is you know how when you're cutting vegetables and you're slicing vegetables and they're all sticking to the knife because it's perfectly flat. Well, this kind of breaks up that, that surface there. So... They don't stick. Is that what it's for? That's part of what it's for, yes. Oh, okay. That, and it just looks badass. That wasn't something that you just pulled out of your... No, that's actually part of <laughs> what they had on the I'm info for saying. the stuff. I'm just saying, because you never know. You never would know with him. He always has a reason for things. <laughs> Hello, Jim, Danny, Lori, Pat, Lisa. <laughs> and, and the block... Is magnetic I have to give you shit <laughs> so now for those of you who who may not know this um, magnetic blocks which either like this that are freestanding or the kind that are on the wall is much better idea for your knives than having the blocks where you slide them in and the reason is is this is easier to keep clean Anything that's that gets down inside those little narrow slots can be very difficult to keep clean and it can actually end up being something that can be a, a breeding ground for uh, stuff that will make you really sick. So that is one of the things I love about the magnetic block. Well, we could always get another magnetic block for the other ones and just, there, and just put them all up there on the top shelf. I don't know why we would need any other ones. Because I can't touch those? <laughs> Get your own magnetic box. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the other thing is, is this block weighs <laughs> about 10 pounds, folks. And the reason it weighs 10 pounds is because this is actually a fairly strong magnet. Okay? But you want to have enough weight on that block so that way you can actually pull your stuff out. So. Okay, so step one is done already in a large skillet brown your pork. Now we're going to add the garlic and saute for 30 seconds. Give me the thing. Stir, stir, stir. See, I don't know why I'm cooking this. This is typically him because I don't do this. Did you finish with your onions yeah. at least? Okay, great. Here you go. You can take over. I don't usually use this She's not nice, the walk person. No, no. I got that for him so he could be a happy camp. I love stir fries. Now you're going to add the cabbage or your coleslaw, whatever one you used. We got the coleslaw. Now there is a packet of dressing in this coleslaw, so we won't even use the dressing. We'll just use, use the part of it um just a 14 ounce yeah well this it. is this this is only seven ounces so oh okay sorry i should have got you two then huh yeah i was pulling it out of the bag that way so i could catch okay let's see here hey jamie hello colleen valerie says all right what else is loud. going in here i can't touch those everyone knows i've got my own knives that aren't touched but by me. Um, so you're going to add your cabbage and coleslaw, your soy sauce, uh -huh. and your ginger. Saute until desired tenderness. If more liquid's needed to saute the coleslaw, then add a little water. How much soy sauce is it? About a tablespoon? Um, soy is one fourth cup. One 
fourth cup. Let's see here. What does Carol say? Carol, hello. Just joining in. What you making? Well, tonight we are making an egg roll in a bowl. Uh, we have a new, like, a weight loss cookbook, R3. And this is part of the Reset Friendly. Now, this isn't just about weight loss. Yeah. No, this it's is about healthy meals. This is about changing your relationship with food mm -hmm. so that you're eating healthy for real life. <laughs> Carol said, I heard stir fry. Well, yes, because that's the that's the wonderful little uh, walk thing that I got him, and he is he likes kitchen gadgets, <laughs> and he always wanted a walk. And what usually hubby wants in the kitchen, mama gets. Yeah, because you're usually <laughs> getting yumminess from it. Yes. Yep. Hello, Ken. Hello, Herman. <laughs> Pretty much. She indulges um, my 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 uh, desire for stuff in the kitchen because if I do, then I know I get fed well. Otherwise, you know, if it was just me and the girls, if it was just me and the girls all the time, we'd just would, be macaroni would be, and cheese. They, they'd and be eating macaroni spaghetti. and cheese, and not even homemade mac and cheese. No, 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 no. Has to be from a box for them. Although they did seem to like the version that you made. They did. They did. Mm -hmm. um, Which so, probably means that Daddy just made it too fancy. So after you've done that, it looks like it's pretty good. It doesn't look dry. No, it's not dry. Okay. And then you're going to make a well in the center of the skillet and crack an egg. Mm -hmm. That is not me because I'll put shells in it. Herman says, nice. Oh, Carol says, nice wok. Thank you. Yes, it is uh, Breville. Breville. Bre Breville. 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 Oh, you got all the juice right in the middle. Um, crack the egg into the well, then scramble it with a spatula over low heat until done. And you know what? I am fine if you want to do the uh, two teaspoons of sriracha. Because I have had a little bit of sriracha on the, um, on like the stir fry things. We have a company that comes in and does stir fry at the hospital. And sometimes I accidentally get the one that has sriracha on it. So we, we don't need much. Making sure it wasn't a new bottle. Oh. Yeah, that's good. I, I don't like sriracha, guys. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> this brings a little bit of heat to it. So you would just stir in your sriracha, drizzle with some sesame oil, and sprinkle with green onion, and that, and then you can add additional soy sauce and sriracha if desired. So knowing him, knowing him, he will probably take a bite. It will be desired. And it will be desired. <laughs> It will be desired. Moy soy sauce and sriracha in his bowl. Get, I said, in his bowl. Not in here. In his own bowl separately. Um, oh, and I did, I did get some lettuce scoops, like some lettuce leaves. So if you don't want to eat it in a bowl and you kind of just want to make it into like a lettuce scoop, uh, lettuce scoops, they're really excellent source of vitamin A. So... I kind of like that. And we are done. Oh, wow. Well. And we're done. Very quick and easy meal. If you want the recipe, just drop recipe in the comments and uh, we will send you the recipe. Okay, via messenger. Now, and just so you know, folks, yeah. we're sharing a few of the recipes from this cookbook. Yes. We're not going to be going, in, in, even though we may be making other things from this cookbook, we're not going to be sharing everything from this cookbook. We're no. giving you a little bit of an idea of the kind of stuff that the R3 program is all about as far as healthy eating. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and, and if you want to know more about that kind of stuff. Uh, if you want to know more about R3, just drop R3 in the comments. Right? Yeah, she's so much better at saying some of this kind of stuff on the lives than I am. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, and this we would be more, so good. We would be more than happy to talk to you about the R3 of uh, resetting your body and 
slowly uh, reintroducing foods. Okay, let's. So, did you add the green onion? Yes. I don't see it. Not my problem. That part of the green onion is going to be for garnish. Oh no, you're tasting it first. <laughs> it has sriracha in it. It does? See, told you. Sriracha will be desired. <laughs> okay, folks. This, this really is really, really good. He likes spicy stuff. So I will tell you if sriracha is in it. I'll be able to tell you. Trust me. I'm trying to make sure I get you some. Uh, what? Some of the cabbage and stuff with it, not just the meat. See, that's perfect for me. Has just a little bit. Ooh. Has just a little bit. Oh my God, I need something to drink. <laughs> It's good though. It's not. <laughs> it's not too hot. It's hot to my standard, but you know, Carol and says that looks delicious. And 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 also a little bit of the heat is actually coming from the garlic and the sesame oil. Okay. Yeah. So the 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 sriracha is more putting the smokiness in it than anything else. And um, I am going to make up a bowl of this so I can get the good picture for you guys. Uh, but I think I'm actually going to end up the lettuce wraps myself. You can already tell. You can already tell that these are... Um, hey. Hey. Oh. Use a spoon, not a spatula to serve. Oh, Lord. What? I was just going to drop it on my lettuce leaf. Let me alone. I'm going to use a flat surface to pick up something that needs to be scooped. <laughs> so there we go. See? So you can put it on there knowing him with a lettuce wrap. He's going to put a little soy on top. And then he's going to put a little sriracha on top. And then he's going to eat it like that. Am I correct in that statement? Possibly. <laughs> oh, hi, Dodger. Dodger's like, you've got something there. <laughs> All right. And then got the little bit of mm -hmm. green onion here. And I know what I, something else I want to add to it. He's following me. If I can find him. What, sesame oil? No, sesame oil's already in there. Oh. What are you doing? A little bit of sesame seed. Oh, your sesame seed. Do not put it on my leaf. I wasn't going to put it okay. on your damn leaf. <laughs> so there you go, folks. Marinda says women's prerogative. Yeah, women. I like women. lettuce wraps with tacos. Yes. Yeah, that's another yeah. good thing to do. Um, mm -hmm. Make up your taco meat. And instead then, of instead of using a taco shell, using a lettuce leaf. And, and, Absolutely. And that saves you from having to do the shredded lettuce. So all you need then is a is a little bit of onion, a little bit of tomato, some some guac. Mm -hmm. We yep. ought to do that at some point. Yeah, we got plenty of this, so we'd be able to easily do the taco stuff with the girls. But anyway, you guys, <laughs> if you want the recipe, drop recipe in the comments. If you want to know a little bit more about R3 and what we mean by resetting your body and then reintroducing foods, just drop R3 down below and we would be more than happy to reach out to you and just talk to you about it. Um, but until our next video, stay true to yourself, be authentic, be genuine, show love to others, and of course, and of course, she's paying attention to the TV. Be kind. <laughs> Peace, love, and photography, folks. And remember, everything can make a beautiful image, including you. Have a great afternoon. Bye. Toodles.